Hey, this is Phil Lilly, Lilly's Landing Resort and Marina on Lake Taney Como. We're going to do one cast today. It is Tuesday, the 20th of August, and uh, I'm just here above the resort, not very far. <clears throat> They're running two units of water, and I'm going to drift a minnow on the bottom. It's not quite seven in the evening. I've got a, a number six hook and hooked him in the lips. And I've got a, I think it's a seven split shot, about 18 inches above the hook. I brought some night crawlers just in case. Just in case I don't get a bite with the minnow, I'll switch the night crawler here in a little bit. It's even cooler today than it was yesterday when I went out to do one cast. <clears throat> and again, I don't have a sweatshirt on. I haven't drifted minnow since, um, since, gosh, May. We sell minnows, but we don't sell minnows. Most of the people, is that a fish? Most of the people that use minnows <clears throat> they'll buy them and they'll take them to the tail rock and fish for crappie or whatever. Not too many people are using them on this lake that I know of. They cer <coughs> certainly should work. I haven't been on the dock all day today, so I don't have any fishing reports. I'm sorry. Had to have been a, just an awesome day to be out. It wasn't, uh-oh, that was probably bottom. Let's check it. There were some clouds here a little bit ago. Yeah, I got some. Somewhere. I am using four pound line. <clears throat> they started the water about two o'clock, just like uh, they have been doing. And they're supposed to turn it off about eight. That's a fish. <laughs> I told you they hit him. I you really got I think you got a really good chance to catch a big fish, like a brown. Here we go. Got him right in the lower lip. Just barely. All right. <clears throat> I really like it when something that I haven't tried in a long time actually works. 
It's like I was pleasantly surprised to catch a fish on the night crawler the other day. Oh, that was bottom. Well, I got a breeze that's blowing me upstream, so I'm gonna have to kind of keep the boat moving downstream. Uh-oh. That was not a fish. And that took everything. Okay, I've got another rod that's already rigged. My weight's too big though. For sure. One thing, thing bad about drifting. <clears throat> Is the bottom. Okay, I'm gonna try not to hit my neighbor's buoy today. We're a long way from it. I am not hitting bottom. Got a little bump. There we go. Bumping, bumping bottom now. This has actually got some braid on it. I think it's that three pound braid. And it's got a, ooh, that was a fish. Hit it again. It. I didn't even set it that hard. I think it broke where the the weight was pinched on. Stinks. Well, now I got another bite. So that was a fish. Takes a second to tie another hook and put a weight on.
Okay, I am passing Bruce's buoy. I want you to know that Did not run into it today. I'm trying not to run into mine because mine is next. I think I'm going to go on the outside. Let's do this again. I'm kind of eh. I think it takes a while for this to get to the bottom because this braid does not sink like monofilament. Takes a little bit longer to get to the bottom. There is no reason, <coughs> no special reason I'm using braid. It's just what happened to have a hook and weight on it. So I grabbed it. Well, I'm not hitting bottom yet. Okay, I'm on the bottom now. Well, that took a long time. Years ago, before we bought the resort, Marsha and I used to come here and vacation with her parents and her grandparents, and they'd either stay down at Blue Haven or they'd stay up at River Lake, Sun Valley, River Lake. Either one of those two. And I remember always being excited when they started running water, because we'd go out and we'd drift salmon eggs. And we'd drift, we'd use the big, the, kind of the oversize, and they were pink and they garlic flavored. We catch a lot of fish. That would have been 84, no, not 84, 82, 81, 82. Actually, I think it was probably 79.80 the year before and the year we got married. I am not bumping bottom. 
Not liking this braid, I think. For some reason, it's not there. Well, I don't know. Come on. Should have tied, should have tied on the hook on the other one. Ooh, that was bomb. Very quiet week on the lake this week. Oh gosh, should have checked it a long time ago. <laughs> Hmm. It's a big old military plane. Wow. I guess he's going to Branson. Come on, fish. Oh, that might have been a fish right there. It was. I just uh, missed him. That was a fish. That was a fish. He hit it once and then came back and hit it again.
Ooh, that was a big fish. You got momentum. Probably dead. No, he didn't. One more try. Well, I really think I did a lot, would have done a lot better if I had had monofilament on, because I'm just not, for some reason, this braid just doesn't allow, doesn't allow it to bump bottom. I've tried to slow the boat down. Just don't get bit unless you're bumping the bottom. And I've, I've got a fish playing with it. Oh, missed him. Okay. Oh, he got my bait anyhow. Oh. Well, thanks for watching. It minnows work good. They work better than the night crawlers did. But next time, no braid. We'll see you tomorrow.